Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Sebastian Tanya, thank you so much for tuning in. In today's video, I am bringing you 10 things or 10 trends that must be left in 2017. So it's a new year, it's 2018, we are going to be bringing in new trends and new things. So these are the 10 things that I think we can't do without in 2018. So without further ado, let's get to the video. So number one, the roses. There's this red rose, you see it everywhere, in jeans and t-shirts and dresses, it's just everywhere, it's just this rose, I'm sure you know the rose, everybody's aware of the rose, and I'm also guilty of doing the trend, I actually did love it at first, but I can admit that we've overdone it, we have overdone the trend we don't need to wear anything with the rose anymore in 2018 so can we just be kind and leave the trend in 2017 thank you bye rose <laughs> number two i'm sure you also recognize this dress it's a off shoulder black and white striped dress it's uh maxi and very flowy my goodness, I don't think there's anyone without this dress, except for me, I didn't like, I didn't like the dress. But, okay, I did, I have to admit, but it wouldn't have suited me or fit me well, so I didn't get it. But, a lot of people wore this dress, I saw it everywhere on Instagram, like, 10 people would wear it on the same day. <laughs> like, I'm not exaggerating, guys, this dress was everywhere, I saw it in the streets, I saw everywhere can we just leave it in 2017 please if you have that dress please burn it please <laughs> okay don't burn your dress maybe just give it away to a charity but don't wear it in 2018 thank you don't wear it just leave it back in 2017 okay okay so trend number three that we're leaving in 2017 guys the slippers the slippers I know I know I am part of that trend as well I wear these slippers they're so comfortable they're so they're so so comfortable but it's another trend that we overdone we overdid the trend we should leave it back in 2017 and maybe don't can still wear your slippers at home but it's really not that pretty yes, if you dress up and go to a public place and then you wear those slippers or slides it just wears down your outfit just dress up and look good and just forget about those slippers you just wear them at home but they're very comfortable i must admit they're very comfortable i love them but a trend we are living back in 2017 so bye bye slippers uh trend number four the fake instagram poses Guys, if you know you're being fake in the picture, it's just... Guys, the trend, it's like everyone is taking a picture and be like, what is that? Like, it's like you're smiling or you're surprised or what, what, what's happening? What's happening? We, like, if you know you're not happy, why is it that when you're taking a picture, like, what is that? So one day I went to a function, I think this is where I really, really, really hated this trend because uh, at the function I could see a lot of people, people were like so uh, not into it, they were so, you could see that this person is actually pissed and then they'll be like, oh take a picture of me and when you hold the camera up to their face they're like, I'm like, dude, you are pissed, like what, and then you, you caption that, uh, Happiness lives here, or I'm so happy. <laughs> what? We know you are not happy. Come on. And and if you do this every time, like every day, you're like, every, every pose, actually, it's like, go please, go please. I understand if it's genuine and you're actually happy, but don't tell me that you're always like this every day. I'm sure I'm sure you can tell that this uh, thing gets me heated, but I know it's such a little thing. I'm just fasting, but it must be left back in 2017, please, for me, guys. For me, guys, can we please leave it back in 2017? So talking about poses, number five, hey, 
the dead pose, the ICU pose, all of those stupid poses. They are so stupid. Why are we even doing those things? Dead pose? It's not even funny. It's not even cute. I don't even understand why people do it. ICU poses. <sighs> I'm just even not going to talk about it anymore. Just, just, let's just leave it behind, okay? Let's just be grown up people and just do things that actually make sense and are actually funny. If you're trying to be funny, make sure that joke is actually funny. Leave it, leave it behind. 2017, you got that. 2018, no more. Number six. Guys, this is sad. We need to talk about this. We need to communicate about this. It's the eyebrows, guys. The crooked eyebrows, guys. Like... I understand I also like drawing on my eyebrows guys I like that and I'm not saying that my eyebrows are perfect and I'm the perfect artist everyone should do them like me but <sighs> this is sad we see things out here oh god <laughs> there are so many uh, YouTube tutorials that you can actually try and do a better looking eyebrow if you watch those tutorials you can I'm not saying that you're gonna be perfect because uh, no two people can draw the same eyebrow but just no along the lines like if you're just gonna go <sighs> you know that doesn't look good and you need to find the shape of the eyebrow that actually goes with your face how your eyebrows are naturally shaped that's how you should draw your eyebrows as well just trimmed and shaped and make it look clean and nice but still the same shape because that is the, the shape that actually goes with your face if you want to cut them all off and just draw a shape of your own that usually doesn't work out hey it's like those eyebrows that the showbread caches have lord have mercy some people are just take the eyebrow pen and a black one just go just and they at the door and it's good no it's not like uh, please watch the YouTube tutorials if you don't want to watch uh, youtubers from America you can watch youtubers from South Africa with those youtubers are using the items the proper items that you can actually get like look at Mithali guys her eyebrows are god and she has a youtube uh, tutorial showing you how there's so many beauty youtubers that are actually showing you how to do these eyebrows just keep practicing guys really it doesn't help if you're just gonna do your own thing and it doesn't turn out nice <sighs> please let's just leave those stupid looking eyebrows because the boys are laughing at us Let's just leave those stupid looking eyebrows. 2017, 2018, eyebrows will flick. Number seven. Number seven, guys. I know some people are probably gonna hate on me because of this. But, guys, Evosho, guys. No. Evosho. That thing. That dance, that dance move. Can you please leave it in 2017? Can you please leave it in 2017? That thing is hurtful. That thing is very painful. Like you, you dance that move, and tomorrow you won't be able to walk properly. Like, am I dancing or am I just hurting myself? Especially if you don't do any squats. I found that when I was doing squats, then doing Evosha was like, okay, I would wake up the next day and feel still painful, but not that much. Not to the extent that I can't, I can't actually walk. But once I stopped, hey guys, no. I stopped doing the squats and then I danced Evosha and I'm like, God, my my body was so painful my body was super painful and i'm not dancing that thing again so can we please live it in 2017 and in 2018 can we come up with a move that is actually not painful please for us that don't have those flexi bones please the next thing number eight 
I think it's just unnecessary, like, guys. It's not... You don't have to be a trader. Like, everybody is lying and pretending to be a forex trader. Like, 2017, everyone you come across and their mother and their cats is a... A, a forex trader. Why? Why, guys? Is it really that cool? Because... It really isn't necessary, guys. Like, everyone is like, I'm a trader, I'm a trader, I'm a trader. Where's the evidence? Nah. Even a paralindao, you ask him what he does for a living. I'm a forex trader. Everyone is a forex trader, yet there's no evidence. Yet, I was no ah, but you're a forex trader. Guys, it's really not that cool. It's really not that cool. You can't just not be a forex trader. Just say, I don't have a job. I'm not doing anything with my life. Not just say I'm a forex trader and have no nothing to pick it up and have nothing to pick it up basically. So it's not cool. It's not. Especially guys, they have the tendency to everyone is like I'm a forex trader, I'm a forex trader. Well, if you are really a forex trader and you actually trading and you actually know what's going on, then there's no problem with that. But what we living in 2017 Pretending and lying to be one. It's not cute. Number nine. I also used to be guilty of this, guys, but I've since grown up and changed. <laughs> but it's number nine. And this is very serious because it's the start of the year and people are making uh, New, year re New Year's resolutions. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I'm not saying you should not make... Uh, resolutions it's a good thing to make new year's resolutions but you know there are those people that make resolutions that they know exactly they're not planning on keeping like if you're not planning on keeping your resolution then who are you fooling us or yourself who are you fooling so just don't just leave that trend in 2017. Like, if you had resolutions in 2017 that you it didn't even take even a single step to achieve and you knew in your heart when you were making that resolution that you were never planning to keep that resolution, just don't make any. Just don't make any like that in 2018, please. Just, if you've already done that, just cancel it out. Cancel it out of your list. It's not... It's, why are you fooling, really? Why are you fooling? Because you're just going to tell people that, Oh, no, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to I'm gonna lose weight. And then you don't even do a single squat or go to the gym even once. By the end of the year, we'll be like, ah, But you said you were on a diet. But you said you were going to live weight. You're going to lose weight. What happened? What happened? And you're going to have to, be, to explain. And really, if you just didn't say anything, we won't mind. We won't care, we won't ask, and you won't have to answer. So, just a suggestion. Leave the New Year's resolutions that you're never going to keep behind. Don't do that in 2018. And number 10, this is serious, guys. And I'm sure everyone is aware that in 2017, we had a lot of cases of human abuse. And this is very important. It is very important that this is a trend or a thing that we leave behind. We are leaving women abuse in 2017 because it's not cool. It's not cool. And it's not because we're saying don't abuse women because that woman can be your mother, can be your sister, can be your grand. No, just don't abuse women because they are human beings. Simple. It's just simple. Just <sighs> sorry to end on a tense note, but if you're a guy and you're watching this, just tell yourself in 2018, I'm not gonna abuse anyone. And if you're a woman and you're being abused, just tell yourself that this year I'm speaking out. This year I'm making a change, and I am bettering myself and the relationships that I keep. So guys, we have reached the end of this video. Thank you for tuning in till this point and I love you so much. If you have not subscribed, please press that red button down below and follow me on my social media on Instagram and Facebook. I am Sibasle Tanya. On Twitter, I am Sibasle Tanya as well. 
So until next time, I love you loads. Wait, wait, wait. Before I leave, guys, I want to show you something. This is my key, guys. My 21st birthday key. I got the keys, God. I got the keys. I got the keys. I got the keys. So, yeah, I had a 21st birthday uh, celebration. But, unfortunately, I don't have that footage. I planned on, on posting that footage. But, apparently, it got deleted and... I don't know who deleted it and I was so messed up but I was so mad about it but that's okay I lost the footage but I still have some of the pictures from the activities that we did so go check that out on my Instagram and love you always <laughs> why do I say it like that?